Hello, what's going on? Today we're going to make an egg roll bowl. So this is a really simple recipe. The ingredients are very simple as well. As you can see, we have some soy sauce, some sesame oil, um, some sausage or ground pork. Um, that's just me showing the, the oils and stuff. Some uh, cabbage. I use a coleslaw bowl and then some onion powder, garlic powder, and then ground ginger. You could also use fresh ginger. I'm using mine for something else though. Oh, an optional carrot. So that's optional. This is a low carb meal um, and it's super easy. You can have this done in about 15 minutes. Right now I'm just browning up the pork. Uh, you could also use whatever is in an egg roll. You could use uh, chicken, beef, uh, shrimp, whatever you want. Uh, any protein would work. So once it's browned up, or um, I go ahead and add a little of the soy sauce. You're going to probably need about a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. So I just put a little bit um, in it at this point just to the meat um, and then after that then I'll go ahead and add my cabbage now it does say pre-washed on the bag so I'm just dumping it in and plus it's gonna get cooked down so I'm not really concerned if it was a salad then of course you know I, I rinse it off but for this right here I'm just gonna go ahead and dump in my two bags I used two bags of cabbage because I felt when I used one um, it would always just shrink down a little bit too much and I wouldn't have as much to work with when it's all done. So right now in my walk, it looks like a lot, but once it cooks down and once it sits for a little bit, um, you know, it will shrink right up. So that's just what we're doing here is folding it in, trying to mix it to the bottom. Um, and then you'll notice quickly that it will start to wilt down. Uh, this is probably the longest process of the whole thing because this is a really easy meal. You had a long day and you just need to feed your family something um, real quick. This is a go-to. It tastes good and it's easy. So at this shot here, you're looking at it probably in the walk for about maybe a minute and a half or two minutes. Um and it's already cooked down quite a bit. So at this point is when I'm going to go ahead and season it. So I'll add some more of the soy sauce in it. <clears throat> Ooh, I lost my voice. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so I'll add some more of the soy sauce in it. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add my seasoning. So this is where I'm going to sprinkle in um, my onion powder and garlic powder. Um and my ginger like i said you are welcome to use fresh ginger grated in um if that is your thing and that's what you want to do you're welcome to my ginger on the other hand i'm using for something else and i have this organic grated ginger and it worked just fine but it's your kitchen your rules you use what you want to do so i'm probably not w walking correctly but <laughs> This is just be stirring around so it can nicely wilt down and keep the cooking process going. So once it looks about this, like this, kind of wilted down, um, I suggest you take a taste because everything's cooked. Make sure you have enough soy sauce in there. Make sure you have enough ginger, garlic, whatever. Um, you know, make sure it tastes good to you. And once you've done that and once you like the taste, go ahead and drizzle your sesame seed oil through it. Um, that's just a really nice oil and it really gives it an extra punch. And at this point, I like to add any add-ins. So if I wanted to add a folded egg in, I'd add it. Um, I'm adding a half a carrot in because I like the crunch. It's already done cooking. So the carrot will, you know, add that extra crunch. And so I'm going to go ahead and, um, grate some carrot and add that into my egg roll bowl. So this is showing you all the carrot I added in. Like I said, I added about a half a carrot in there. And I'm about to take it off the stove because it is done. <laughs> Look how short this is. This is no work whatsoever. Everyone loves it. That's why I make such a big bag because my husband really likes it. And then he can take a lot of it to lunch tomorrow too. Um, you could throw some green onions on it if you want at this point. Look, it's just so beautiful. If we were fancier, we would have chopsticks instead of a fork, but we're not, so that's what we got. Thanks for watching!